music explorers discover the orchestra. Hello, music explorers. Welcome to Severance Hall, home of the world famous Cleveland Orchestra. I'm Ranger Rhythm. And I'm Major Scale, your musical guides reporting for duty. Are you ready to explore with us? Today, we have a very important music explorer mission. We need to find five patterns. Keep an eye out for patterns you might see and listen carefully for patterns you might hear. Today, we're going to meet a very special instrument in the orchestra, the cello. Say it with me, cello. But before we meet the cello, can you tell me what letter cello ends with? Do you mean what sound do we hear at the end of the word cello? Mm -hmm. You're right. O. Cello ends with the letter O. The letter O, O, O says O, O, O. The letter O, O, O says O, O, O. In words like cello, yellow, hello, and jello. The letter O, O, O says O, O, O. Cello, yellow, hello, jello. They all end in the same ello sound. That means they rhyme. It's a pattern, a rhyming pattern. Well, hello, cello playing fellow holding jello in yellow. Now, let's listen to what the cello sounds like. How a cello makes sound. Music explorers, let's investigate. What do you notice about the cello? It's pretty big, isn't it? Cellists sit down to play the cello with the instrument between their legs, which helps them hold it. Do you see something else at the bottom of the cello? This is called the end pin. It can be made longer or shorter to adjust the height of the cello. How do you think the cello makes sound? You're right, using the strings. To play the cello, or any string instruments, you use your fingers to press down on the strings and change the pitch. Pitch means a sound is high, or a sound is low. Cello players use this stick with hair to make sound. It's called the bow. Say it with me, bow. When you drag the bow across the strings, it pulls on the strings to make them vibrate. Did you see it vibrate? Now that we've learned a little about the cello, let's practice some patterns using instruments. First, do you see any patterns on the cello? Something that you see on both sides of the cello? You're right, there are holes on both sides of the cello. These are called the F holes. That's where the sound comes out. How about the shape of a cello? This side is the same shape as this side. We can also hear patterns in sound. Do you want to try a listening pattern with me? Triangle. Cello. Trumpet. Triangle. Cello. What comes next? You're right, the trumpet. Great job identifying patterns, music explorers. And now, the greatest detectives in orchestra history. The people you call when cellos, mouthpieces, or the conductor go missing, Sherlock Holnotes and Inspector Sharp. I spy with my little eye something that ends with the letter O. The cello. Let's search for cellos in the orchestra. The game's afoot. Now remember, the cello is bigger than the violin and the viola, but smaller than the bass. You found them. 
How many cellos do you see in this orchestra? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I see ten cellos. Did you know the cello is a member of the string family? Let's see if we can find some other instruments in the string family. Here are the violins, violas, and cellos. Oh, and the basses. The string family is the biggest family in the orchestra. What is the same about instruments in the string family? You guessed it, they all have strings. They even all have the same number of strings. One, two, three, four. What else? They all are made of the same thing, wood. And they all have the F holes too. Remember, that's where the sound comes out. Well observed, explorers. Back to you, Major Scale. Thanks, Inspector Sharp. Now I wonder if we achieved our explorer mission today. Let's count the patterns we collected. One, two, three, four. We collected four patterns to add to our Music Explorer toolbox. You've just unlocked another key to music exploration. Until next time, this is Major Scale, signing off. <laughs>